Hi, I'm Brian Burnaby, uh, infielder for the Cannon River Sharks. I play for the Canberra Cavalry. Hi, I'm Mike McGuire, with pitcher for the River Sharks. I'm also a pitcher for the Canberra Cavalry in Australia. Hi, my name is Kevin Reed. I'm a pitcher for the Camden River Sharks and uh, one and only Melbourne Aces. Hi, I'm Sean Jarrett, a uh, right-handed pitcher for the Camden River Sharks and the Brisbane Bandits. I knew the coach of uh, the Canberra team, uh, Steve Shrink, who's a coach with the Phillies, and uh, so he helped me out and get over there and uh, pitch for them. Uh, it's kind of a funny story. Uh, uh, Mike McGuire came to uh, came to our team here, the River Sharks, uh, like the last week of the season last year, and uh, he was already heading to uh, to Canberra. And uh, he last day in the clubhouse after the last game of the year, he just meant, he just threw it out there. Says anybody wanted to go to play in Australia, and I said, you know, why not? Uh, I said, yeah, well, I mean, just let me uh, let me know the details. And he didn't know that at the time, but uh, Steve Shrink, the coach for the Cambridge Cavalry. I used to play uh, with the Phillies where he coached, so we knew each other for a while back, and it kind of just worked out from there. I was fortunate enough to play with two Australians last year, and they introduced me to the Malvern Baseball Club, which was uh, very uh, generous in bringing me out there. I got to play with them as well as the, in the ABL. Great time. I was looking for a place to play winter ball, and then uh, that was really one of the only ones I could get in contact with a couple, like with the team, so it just worked out somehow. Oh, just going over there and experiencing Australia, you know, it's something I thought I'd never do. And uh, to go over there and play baseball and, and uh, you know, tour around the country, it was, it was exciting. Uh, I'd say the highlight was probably just getting to know all of the uh, the guys from Australia and different different cultures and getting to meet the different people. That was a lot of fun. Probably getting the opportunity to pitch in the championship um, series, uh, game two. And uh, we actually got to win, so it was great, great, great experience. There's really not one single highlight. It was just more just enjoying being in another country playing over there. I mean, Australia is a beautiful country. It was awesome. Every city we went to was amazing, and uh, it was just enjoyable altogether. First time playing all year round, so you're kind of nervous going out there, but um, just being in more game experiences, playing against good talent, um, has definitely helped me uh, coming back to the I started a few games there at the end of the year, and I think that kind of prepared me to uh, get into a starting role here. I kind of knew I was coming over here uh, after the season, uh, but again, it was just it was a good time to go over there and just have fun and, and uh, play baseball. It, it helped a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot to do with confidence. Uh, a lot of, a lot of, it helped me work on a lot of things that I need to work on to get better for this league as well. Uh, just the mindset of saying that I could go out and, and, and play the way I, I know I can play and just keep it kind of keep the momentum going into the season. Just a great experience, that's what it is. You go over there, you're gonna have fun, uh, you're gonna see and meet different people, and uh, it's just a, overall just a fun time. I tell them if they get the opportunity to go to Australia, go. It doesn't matter what opportunity you get, whether it's baseball or work, uh, go. Uh, great people, uh, and it's just a all around good time. Uh, that, it's a lot of fun, and if, uh, they can play over there or just go over there to travel, I definitely recommend it. It was probably some of the most fun I've had playing baseball uh, since I've been professional. Yeah. Talk about the, the country in general. Uh, it's beautiful. Uh, ABL is, is an up and coming league that they uh, that a lot of guys, if they have an opportunity to go there, and, and, and it's, uh, it's not a bad decision for them. There's a lot of stuff. G'day, mate. Yeah. G'day, mate. That's a good one. I like, uh, yeah, how'd you pull up? Because I didn't know what that meant, so I said I rode the train, but I guess it's, how do, how do you feel the next day? How you traveling, mate? I said, uh, no, no worries thing before, before I went there, but obviously, uh, I, I, I mean, I, I couldn't say, I mean, they, they, I mean, you know, I guess you could say no worries, but uh, like I said, it was already being said. I can understand most people that talk in America, and in, in Australia, it's, it's kind of a battle sometimes. Not much. Uh, you know, it doesn't really, sometimes you don't even feel like you're in Australia, but, you know, just uh, good people over there, uh, you know, a lot of less stressful, you know, and uh, it's just, you know, you're on the beach, and it's just, uh, it's just always, you know, good times.
difference? I'd say the biggest difference is everybody here is always go, 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 and, uh, and really uh, tense and uptight, and there everything's, like they say, is no worries. I'm um, from the Northeast, and Australians are very laid back, and in the Northeast, not so much. Uh, so I love that, and I've taken that into my game here and, um, and into life.